This is the Law Abiding Biker Podcast number nine. This is a Lab Media production. The Lab Podcast is both extreme and bold, so if you're faint of heart, call the medics now. Join, Join the, the Law Abiding, Abiding Biker, Biker community, community, where every voice is important. At lawabidingbiker.com. If you want to be entertained and educated, then look no further. You can listen to the Lab Podcast on iTunes, Zoom, Blackberry, Stitcher Radio, or right from lawabidingbiker.com. Hola, papi. Ven y escucha otro episodio del Lab. Yep, welcome all my bikeaholics. You have made the journey here. I want to welcome you to another episode of The Lab Podcast. Mm-hmm. The official Law Abiding Biker Podcast. Word. We talk about it all here, folks. The world of motorcycling, motorcycles, trends, ride reviews, equipment reviews, motorcycle laws and issues, clubbing, news, television and media, smartphone app reviews, oh, cuz, oh yeah, oh, and so much more. That's right, and so much more. This is a podcast for any, I said, any law abiding motorcycle enthusiasts we are the majority after all Mm -hmm. the 99 percenters and we are who the motorcycle industry looks to and relies upon for product development and sales so let us be heard 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 get ready put your kickstands up roll the throttle back and hang on as we come at you with another lab podcast Welcome, everybody. Thank you for checking back in for another episode of The Lab Podcast. This is Ryan Erlacher, your host of The Lab Podcast, your high-tech redneck. Oh, yeah. That's right. Mm-hmm. And uh, gosh, we have a ton of stuff to talk about today. I got a couple people in the studio. Episode 9, boys. Can you believe it? Episode 9. And... Who was that? And also in the house, we do have... I'm the seven-foot man. I even know the words now, bro. I like it. I've committed no... Anywho, I got Matt and Lurch in the studio with me. Well, Matt, um, Matt is Lurch. So. Uh, sorry, I got Matt and... Uh, you, you, call call him. Lurch and Cuz. Cuz, yeah. Yeah, you can call him Matt. Right. I answered about Matt and Ed, yeah. We prefer Lurch. <laughs> I don't care what you prefer. <laughs> I answered Matt. All right. well, well, I answered Lurch yeah. too. But he, answers, he answers to whatever he's called. So, dude, when did you get out of the hospital, True. Lurch? Uh, yesterday, pretty much. Dude, you were on your deathbed. Yeah. What the hell's been going on with you? I just had a funky cold, man. It knocked me on my butt for a week. Jeez, Ryan, I could only get so lucky I'd have a brand new bike. Huh? I'm just kidding. He ain't willing. <laughs> Dude, he's willing nothing to you. Oh, yeah. He, he said I get his bike if he dies. Well, I don't need it if I'm dead. Yeah. Dude, you're not willing it to me? I'll take my brother, though. I mean, you can, you know where the keys are at. And take get, it if you want it. Give me half. Hey, Ryan. You can, can have the guns. You can have the bike. Hey, Ryan. Yeah. We'll wrestle for it. Uh, I don't think that's going to happen. All right. You'll hurt me. You can have the... I'll be, I'll be nice. Dude, Ed, I'm old. Ed, you can yeah. have the guns. Ryan can have the bike. I have plenty of guns, okay. so... All right. Why don't we give the bike to someone that doesn't have a bike? Because we're greedy. Oh, yeah. That's right. 
So, dude, you're feeling better? Oh, yeah. Uh, you sound better. Much better. You doesn't were, look doesn't look much. You were better. out of action, dude. You wouldn't even group do the group me, dude. You were just out. I literally slept for a week straight. Yeah. So you got some horse pills or what? Yeah, I got some amoxicillin. Cures what ails you. Cause yeah, yeah. It was freaking crazy this morning in Owens. I came in. It, yeah, it's crazy all the time, man. It's, yeah. it's it's that time of year, riding season. We're uh, we're stacking them up. Two weeks behind already. So I'm a little bit pissed off because you know what happened. Somebody opened a car door. I assume that's what it looks like into my front fender. So I got an estimate today. All right. I got to be honest with you. I, I, dropped, I dropped a beer on your fender. Oh, wait. I wasn't even there. It wasn't me. <laughs> Dude. Didn't look like a beer. No. Looked like a car door. Um, but anyways, I got an estimate on my uh, Harley. And apparently, we learned that if you damage a tin on a Harley, they don't really do body work on no, it, right? we, No, heck no. We Why? Don't, we don't do body work. Because uh, Harley has their uh, own set of paints and uh paint codes and tins and it's really hard to match so we uh anytime we have a damaged bike we do a, a straight order of the tins themselves already painted from the factory and they're guaranteed to 100 percent match what you got on your bike hey dude what are you gonna do with that front fender i asked ed that and apparently they give the tins back to me oh yeah and i'm gonna Cheers. sell it on ebay or something dude what i know a guy remember my cousin derek i know a guy that knows a guy that painted that right that special one-off tank just for some artwork he could smooth that little dent out, paint it over. I mean, just if you're doing some artwork, he can make some badass artwork for your wall. That front fender. Well, yeah, I don't, I don't he's know. just he just wants to practice. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. Think about it. It's not a bad idea. Think about it. I think I'm thinking if you give him a fender to mess with, he might cut you a deal on some, uh, you know, a little something something later. My tins are coming off this winter, and I'm oh, setting yeah. them up to him. Oh yeah, yeah, that's what Ed said. Yeah, we talked about him in a past podcast. Yeah, or I did. Yeah, I think oh, yeah, it was yeah. episode three or something. Yeah, yeah. Um, the early years, the early, yeah, the, the early years, the early years when I was still in the closet. But yeah, um, yeah you, maybe you, it's a good you, idea. So maybe. you finally came out of the closet several times. Oh, good, good, several times. But I'm bumped. So, yeah, but, so you think? Uh, <laughs> yeah. You oh, so you think he would give me a good deal if I sent him? Oh yeah. My tin to screw, and he could even chop it, paint. It, and somebody might want to buy a custom fender for a street light, and then he'd do some. Ghost. Oh, I don't know. I was just saying, oh. if you wanted some cool art for your wall, he'd probably just. Oh, for the it. wall. Okay. He'd, he'd paint it super cheap. For practice. Just for practice. I got gotcha. you. He's kind of in the beginning years. Yes. So I, I'm going to get in on this deal while it's good and take my tins. Good. I'm going to take my front fender, my Do the front fairing tank. The bags. The bags. I'm not sure about my rear. Oh, yeah. You got to do something. With, yeah, you got to do something with it. He might be. I don't know. Anyways, he's going to hook me up. We got to do a uh, couple quick housekeeping items. Get her done. Um, you were, actually you were sick, but we got the. Everybody knows we got the uh, the Alcohawk Alpha affiliate. Hawk. Oh, good. So they're up and on the Law Abiding Biker. Good tool. Law Abiding Biker dot com. In fact, I'm gonna pull it up right now. Um, Even Ed can use it. That's yeah. How simple it is. Uh, what are you saying? After he's been drinking, he can use it even. I don't drink anymore. I'm saying you can use it. I mean, I didn't. <laughs> oh, wait, what's that in my hand? Is that, is that fire water? Read, it, read into it what you will. You know what, guys? I did not have a single drink for like 28 days. I'm proud of you, man. Maybe longer. So one cycle, <laughs> you didn't have any alcohol. That's didn't. all I needed, one cycle. So the Alcohawk, I'm clicking on it. If you click on the banner on lawabitingbiker.com. Yeah. And I'm looking down here. And this is the one you got, Matt, is the PT500. Mm, yeah. It's the 149. And it is a limited time only right now. It's uh, as low as 137.99. So if you go Works and click great. that banner, gives us a little kickback to keep pumping these shows out. And it is recommended. If you're going to, if you're going to, you know, have a good time, have a couple drinks and ride, be responsible, get an alcohol hawk. Do I it. like it. Do it takes a, the guess do, out yeah, of it. It takes the guess out. Do a little, do a little test and be. For sure. Yep. I agree. Uh, we haven't really had time. We talked about audible.com. Uh, obviously, that's still up there. The Under and Alone book we did a little review on. Um, but if you, uh, we're going to do another book review, but um, you can get that on there. 
uh, get the under and alone book. Awesome. Listen. And hopefully we just have so much content. It's dude, I got to try to keep it like straight here on well, what we're doing, but we, we have a lot of content and we keep developing more. I, well, that's a problem. <laughs> every, every time we get together and something happens, dude, I've got years of content notes, but, um, also ATV, uh, Rocky mountain ATV and MC where I got all my heated gear. They sell a ton of street bike stuff and host gator where I host all my websites. Really cool deal is let's go to, uh, unless you guys have something right off the top of your head. you Dude, what are you pointing at me for? What are you doing? Nothing. Don't be rattling your papers. I will not rattle my papers. No, Lur- Lurch has... He was pointing at his uh, nose, he has, listen, nose spray. Listen, I, I've been sick as a dog for a week. And you have halls in here, and you're rattling your on, paper. I've been on amoxicillin. I've been trying to get myself cleared out. You want to do this podcast. I told you it might be sketchy if I could even make it through it. You sound I have, good. Well, yeah, well, you, you I, got some fire water in him, so he's good to go. A, a little, little JD's got me doing all right and then uh got my hauls here just in case and uh, i just introduced uh ed to afrin uh nose spray man good well, god he'll clear you right out uh yeah yeah well, you're taking a hit of that dude oh i you took got a hit. Teary-eyed. yeah i got yeah. it's got it's got menthol or something it's kind of i mean it's wow it, it tastes like crap yeah opens but, you right up though yep and as we all know i uh have a decent sized beak yeah yeah and uh, I'm sure you breathe just fine without oh, that. Well, yeah, of course. He needs two filters on that microphone just to cover up the the uh, vacuum of the air going in and out of the room. <laughs> yeah, that right there is unnecessary, dude. Oh, I, I apologize. Sir. Um, let's get a couple emails. I want. I guess the first one is uh, we did a video. Um, if you go to lawabidingbiker.com. Or uh, if you want to subscribe, Scrappy587. But I got an email from an individual named Justin. And he says, uh, good call. Oh, no, this is this is the, uh, sorry. This is actually the uh, Dakota windshield. It's the next oh. email I'm going to read from a, a John Bisball. I think I used to, he said I could use his full name. You're, I welcome. You're welcome. Emailed him back. Yeah, just, no, he's legit. He's got his own website. Who? Uh, his name. Here's his name. He said I could use him. Uh, I so no. I said thanks, and I emailed him back and said, "Hey, I'm going to mention you on the podcast. Do you mind if I use your first and last name?" He goes, "No, not at all. You can use whatever you want." So his email. I'm not going to give his email out, but it's it's at dot com. Okay. And, uh, so yeah, he's got his own website. So he's Josh, John. Oh, John. 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 Hey, th- thanks for the email, John. John. I'm sorry. It's John Bisball dot com. The studio's small, and I'm in the corner, and all yeah. I can see is your face. I know you can't see ads. I have no idea what you're looking at over there. So you can't see my computer. Sorry, screen. John. I did yeah. not mean to yeah. call you Josh. Um, but anyways, let's take the first email, and it is from Justin, and he just said, uh, "Good call on the Dakota windshield." We'll talk about that in a minute, guys. But uh, okay. uh, good call on the Dakota windshield. It is what I was looking for, and for the price, even with shipping, still way cheaper than other brands on JP Cycles. Dennis Kirk and motorcycle superstore and what Justin is. Thank you, Justin, first of all, for sending in the email. I really appreciate it. And I did respond to him. Um, but what Justin is talking about is the Dakota windshield that I recently did a actually, uh, and on the review video I did on uh, YouTube. And like I say, you can go to videos on lawabidingbiker.com and you can see the review video. It's on the Dakota windshield. And uh, Lurch, why don't you tell me a little bit about it because you turned me on to it, and then I'll tell you what I, what I've been working on. Uh, I bought my Street Glide, and it came with a ten inch screen on it. it Old like, man's yeah. screen, <laughs> which it's awesome when you're going on a really long ride, and you look awesome too. <laughs> it's not for look. There's no doubt about it. I mean, wasn't uh, wasn't it big enough to attach an entire sheet of paper to for directions? I could do that. That's my redneck uh, yeah, GPS. That's right. <laughs> I just put I just put the uh, Google Maps uh, turn by turn directions taped right to it. Uh, but the so the bike I came with came with a ten inch screen because it was a used bike, and the original owner who was here in town could not find their stock four inch. So I started doing a little search, and I thought one hundred and forty dollars from Harley for a four inch piece of plastic was ridiculous. So I started looking around and uh, went to eBay and found this company called Dakota Shields. I didn't realize it had a full internet site and everything, but um, and it there. is not to real quick. It is uh, not to interrupt, but go ahead are, and interrupt. No, they <laughs> are. They, it's you, important because they are an affiliate of ours. I've been right. on, and they are Dakota mm-hmm. 
hyphen right. shield dot right. com. Right. Right. Did, Thank so. you. Did you check with your brother that works at uh, Harley to see if there's uh, stock probably, windshields laying around? Because we've got about a hundred of them. Probably. Okay. All for right. the, Just checking. For the person that doesn't have a hookup, this okay. is a yeah, pretty gotcha. good alternative. So I started looking around and I found this Dakota hyphen shields. Mm-hmm. Shield. For, shield. No S. Whatever. And people are getting the idea. I know. Yeah, I think they're getting it. Just take Dakota hyphen shield. Dot com. <laughs> dot com. <laughs> and I ordered their four inch shield and put it on there and it came um, in in cardboard, well packaged. It was uh tinted, still had the uh, plastic uh, coating on both sides. Um, what I mean by that the is protective. Yeah. yeah, it's a protective plastic um, sheet that, that peels Thank off. Thank you for clearing that up. Brian. It, you're welcome. And it uh, and it popped right on. And uh, I was happy with it. I've had it on that bike for a couple of years now. Um, was wanting to try something kind of in between the four and the ten, or the six inch. And I was talking with you the other day, and you said, you know what, I'm going to order one. Less than thirty bucks, you get a new shield shipped to you. First time he's ever had six inches. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, couldn't resist. It's a it's a great a great deal. You know, at thirty dollars, I'll buy one every year if I want to. I mean, it, it, the guy's uh, makes it on a CNC machine. Where, where'd Scott you Bell. find this? Because you told me about this eBay. Okay, and I've been talking to him, but mm-hmm. I, I haven't talked about you, how he makes. Okay, them. Um, you got you have more. You have probably a little more information on the website and everything. Right. I just know his eBay store, and uh, he makes it on a CNC machine, and he uh, bevels the edges. They're not rough cut edges; they're beveled. It's it's yeah, good. It's nice. Yeah, it's good plastic. It's tinted. And uh, again, for thirty bucks, I'll buy one every year. Absolutely. Do you remember hey. what his? I'm looking at eBay right now. Does it's it make Dakota him Dash bike? Shield, so it's the same. Yeah, his eBay store is Dakota Dash Shield. Does he make them for road, uh, road glides or just street glides? That's right. a good question. I don't know. No, he does. I think he, he just, does. He makes mm. them for a bunch. I'll look at his site right now. You better look because I think it's mostly flat plastic, like all the um, the bat wing fairings. I don't know about the road glide. That's a good question, Ed. Um, we'll have to look it up. I'm looking at Harley windshields on Dakota hyphen shield. Dot com. I like I liked it better when you did dot com. Well, <laughs> dot com. I can't we, we can't get can't that high, right? All right. Um, that was a one time deal. <laughs> I'm looking here. Okay. Uh, Harley 10 inch wide. I'm looking at all street glides here. Yeah, so I don't, far. I'm going to say probably just the bat wing fairing. Yeah, I don't see a road glide on there. It's because road glides are too awesome. Well, they're special, just like you. Yep. I'm not. Oh, Wait, nope. whoa. Yep, hey, he does. There it is. Right there. Oh, Are that? you kidding me? Nope. He does. Road Glide, 8-inch and 6-inch uh, here. He makes clear ones. He makes uh, tinted ones. He makes some different heights. Yeah, Road Glide's good to go. What? Well. that's Those are nice. <laughs> yeah. Well, they're different sizes, obviously. But. I cannot attest to any uh, fairing or any shields other than the flat ones for the, the Batwing fairing, like for the... Street glides and the ultras and well, et cetera. They're basically the same thing that Harley makes. Um, you know, aside from like the wind splitter, you want to, you know, but but as far as a regular windshield, um, and I uh, and they're a lot I gotta cheaper. Be, I got to be honest; it's kind of hard to beat a wind splitter. Yeah, well, I sold my wind splitter. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, they're for some guys. Some guys like the wind splitter. Yeah. That, but whatever. The I'm telling you, I'm happy with this windshield. Super happy, um, and. Again, thirty bucks is what I got it for. Yeah, those look good, John. They look good. I called. I uh, it's not John. Where'd you get John? Well, we t- there's Justin who sent the Justin. email, and then there's John that was going to be the later email. Yeah, it's his name is Dick. Is the owner? Yeah, Dick Peters actually. Yeah, Dick <laughs> Peters. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah, but I thought. Wait a minute. I don't know where you got John, bro. Well, yeah, we were talking about. Dude, John. I'm shutting your mic off right now. If if if, if his name, uh, the gentleman from uh, Dakota Shield, Dakota Hyphen Shield. Is not li- really Dick Peters. That is an awesome name. Good job, Ed. Good job. Yeah, Dick Peters. Okay, we were talking about Justin and John. No, we ne- have not mentioned a John yet in this uh, podcast. Did we not, Matt? Well, I'm. Oh, John Bisball. Yes, yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, hey, there we go. All right, <laughs> dude. <laughs> hey, did, did when you talked to the guy, did he tell you what else, other kind of busy did? I mean, why yes. has he got a CNC machine? I am Mr. in contact with uh, Dick and super good guy. Um, he's been really good about emailing me back. We've been going back and forth. Anyways, we set up a temporary affiliate right now, and hopefully it's going to turn into something long-term. Um, I do want to say that I did the review video. Please see that, guys, at lawabidingbiker.com. I actually show the shield. 
Uh, I compare it to a Harley Shield, and I've been running it. I I ran it for about 700 miles now. I got the 8-inch. Um, it's as good as a Harley Shield from everything I can tell. Yeah, I watched your review. You did a really nice job with it. I, yeah. rode over, I rode over here to do this podcast tonight, and I live on one extreme end of the valley, and you live on the extreme, other extremes, about 45 minutes, blowing like a son of a gun out tonight. And that, what a huge difference that 6-inch shield made over the 4-inch. It did. When I went to Wenatchee this last week up north, uh, yeah, awesome. And it still looks good, you know? It looks the same. Yeah. yeah. Dude, I swear I could set that on a workbench and uh, and ask you which one was Harley, and I guarantee nobody could tell. I oh, actually yeah. flexed them, and they're cut the same because mm-hmm. they're the beveled, beveled edges. Yep. Um, you, you can't tell. And as far as swirling, I've cleaned it once. Now, I'm a little disappointed. Hang on. i got to go away from the mic. Oh. I'm a little disappointed because, and it's not uh, it's not his fault at all, um, Dick uh, from Dakota Shield, hyphen shield.com, but he sent me some uh, Bug Slide. It's another product he makes. A 60 he makes that? Yeah. Can mm-hmm. I take a look at it? Yep. He made me a bottle and uh or excuse me shipped me a bottle and he shipped me a, a microfiber cloth with it and it's to be used on the windshield look on the back and read a little bit about it. i didn't get to read it well, first of all it's got a really badass uh logo yeah it does and you can get it right on his site dakota-shield.com or his ebay store i'm sure but it uh it apparently uh keeps the bugs off it's for wiping the bugs off and anyways it, it basically says it cleans everything and it uh it makes it super shiny and uh, bugs will slide right off and it's awesome yeah mm-hmm. so i got my little bubble burst today and that came in the mail and the united states postal service uh, oh those guys god, yeah. bl- god bless them god bless yeah god bless R- rain them. or shine rain or shine if you work for usps it's not your fault um but yeah so i get it in the mail and i, I see who it's from and i'm super stoked because i want to get it on the windshield and uh test it out and i open the package and somehow usps had screwed the bottle all up the the freaking lid to the spray bottle was off it was a mess all over and the microfiber cloth was absolutely soaked with it it had soaked most of it up or it probably would have been leaking out of the package so i have the bottle in front of me and unfortunately i should lodge a complaint yeah well i won't be able to test this until uh dick sends me another bottle which i already emailed him he's going to send me another bottle nice. hey, hey sorry about that dick I, I didn't mean to call you john i apologize yeah thank you yeah that's Thanks. cool mr dick peters i apologize that's cool of him to send you that though no it was it was really cool um, cause he had saw my review video on the, uh, uh, on YouTube and anyways, so yeah, he said, emailed me and said he was going to send me this. So anyways, I will be doing a review video on this actually when we put it on. Um, yeah, let's try it. did we it say some... it was supposed to repel bugs too? Yeah. Yeah. It'll uh, clean bugs. It'll polish it. It'll take the swirls out. It'll help, uh, keep the bugs from sticking again. Sweet. Hey, hey, yeah, Dick, it's a cleaner polish basically. Dick, send us an extra bottle. I'll try it out uh, down at work. Have the wash guy try it out and see, uh, see what's what. Oh, oh, yeah. Maybe oh, yeah. start selling it down oh, there. Hey. At, uh, oh, hey. Get a contract. De- dealership. Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah. Actually, that's a good idea. Um, if you want to send a bottle, obviously, uh, Cuz is a service writer down at uh, our local Harley Davidson dealership. And they use all kinds of products. They have some other, they're non Harley products and they put them on all the cleaning mm-hmm. shelves. So you can get a hold of Ed. Uh, and he's going through me anyways, but you can get a hold of Ed, Ed at SwornFewMC.com. He has his personal email address through our club, but repels water and non-abrasive, and it's supposed to stop swirling. So I can't wait to use it, Dick. And uh, thank you, Dakota Shield, for sponsoring this podcast. Really appreciate it. I hope we have a long-term relationship. But Yeah, right on, Dick. Thanks. Yeah, check out the website. Check out his website. I will have a banner up by tomorrow. This podcast will not go out for a little while anyway so by the time you hear this podcast the banner will be up there and you can click straight through to dakota shield there are lots of other products and we're going to talk about each each podcast but we do have uh content to get to so um they've got t-shirts motorcycle covers side wings windshields apparel kits uh they got a cruiser caddy all wheel balancer a whole bunch of stuff so check them out i thought that was part of the content sorry well it is part of the content (laughs) actually it is yeah you're right you're right um, because we wanted to talk about that, that particular windshield and the review. And I've got about 700 miles on it now. It's kicking good. And, uh, yeah, I don't yeah, see any problems with I've it at got all. two years on that four inch shield and we got no problems. Well, thank you, Dick. Yeah, no, it's awesome, dude. And, uh, hopefully we'll keep, uh, keep that going and we'll keep updating you guys as we go along on what's going on. So, yeah. Yeah. What else you got? What, uh, I know our main subject, but I, uh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh yeah. 
See, that's why I got to keep on track here. I got to go to my show notes. Um, here's the email, the other email we got from. Oh, John. 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 Okay. John. There's where John came from. Yep. Mm-hmm. There's where your John came from. Thanks, John. And I would just like to say that John said I could use his full name, John Bisball. John made a donation. I've asked you guys um, if you like the content. Thank you, John. We're not looking right here to just make, you know, obviously we're not making any money. Um, we're just trying to, excuse me, regain um, some of the equipment and services we've put into this. But John did make a donation, and I thank you, John, for doing that. Um, and uh, if you're so inclined and you like the content, the videos and all that, please you can also donate if you don't go through an affiliate banner, if you don't need any equipment. John sent an email. and well, Yes, go ahead. I'd like to thank John on behalf of you and Law Abiding Biker. It was awesome. Thanks, dude. It was really awesome that he was able to make a uh, very generous donation, um, and he was liking the content so much. And the funny thing is the first place he found out about us, the way I understand it here, is, is not from the podcast, but from the YouTube video I put out. And now he's onto the podcast so he started episode one and he's said he's moving on up yeah through all of them youtube's a big deal so yeah, yeah yeah so we're out on both forums and that's what it is it's law-abiding uh, biker media not just podcasts so check us out on youtube but he says anyways um john bisball says i saw your youtube video on bike maintenance it was the bike maintenance video that we mm. did and it's getting a lot of hits and i've got a lot of good feedback from it. but he says it was very helpful it answered the questions i had completely i have been waiting to no, it says I have been waiting to start doing my own maintenance and quote wrenching on my uh, 2012 Road Glide Custom. Oh, Row at a boy, no, John. He said, <laughs> "Yeah, he, dude." He said, "Road Glide." So, he did. Yeah, that, that's for Cuz right there. We got to <laughs> look at yeah. the smile on that retard's oh, yeah. face. Yeah. Are yeah. you okay? Look at him over there. Oh, look yeah. at him. I'm a little excited. Oh my uh, gosh. Hey, if you're gonna be a bear, you might as well be a grizzly. You might as well be a grizzly. <laughs> <laughs> I, had to work, I was gonna work that in there somewhere today. So. Oh gosh, dude! Just um, you warm my heart, John. Yeah, these, John. I, these, I, these bunch of ladies over here, they they ride street glides. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I knew that would make you happy. But he did. That's funny because I didn't even I, I I read his email, but I didn't even see the road glide custom. And then I thought about it when I was reading it. But there you go, because uh, Cuz rides a road glide. Anyways, he goes on to say, I was a little, uh, I was a little handier as a kid with a wrench. I lost the touch again. A uh, YouTube video was helpful and very much appreciated. I will drop uh, some money in your account, uh, do a donation on the next few days. Thank you again. Hey, Ryan, so, Ryan I want to touch on something real quick. Yes, sir. <clears throat> as far as it comes to uh, servicing your own bike, I don't know if you've touched on this before. Um, as long as you keep your receipts and uh, also write your mileage down on the receipts, you are perfectly fine when it comes to warranty stuff. That's right. Good point, man. Yep. I, I, I write it down in the back of my uh, manual. Mm-hmm. It's got the... Uh, the log back there yeah, and I keep the receipts. Keep your receipts, my, yep, keep the mileage, you're good to go. That was one of my big questions when I bought my uh, Y-Glide was uh, going out of warranty and the folks down there at Owens told me, nope, you can do it yourself, just keep track of it. Yep. Yeah, good point. Glad you brought that up because I do the same um, way back when I got my first Harley as I asked. Yeah, keep those receipts and good records so you can do your warranty. So anyways... Um, yeah, if you guys uh, feel throw me a freaking so inclined, bone here. Uh, throw us a bone. Um, John did, and we appreciate it. And uh, all right, that's all our emails for today. I just want to make sure. John, John might be my favorite so far because he rides a road glide. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I knew that would make you happy, man. Yeah. So, all right, on to what do you? What else you got? You guys got anything before we? Do we have time for our main topic? Or do you want to do a mini topic? Uh, well, where are we at? Well, we're at uh, about thirty minutes right now. Thirty minutes should cover our oh, topic. Yeah, for okay. sure. All right. So let's... Uh, Depends on how many questions you've gotten, well, but you I know, think we could probably... Yeah, exactly. I don't have a lot of questions. Let me get to the nuts and bolts of it. Um, yeah, we can. And it was a question um, that got asked, um, and it was... I was going to clean my room until I got high. I was wondering what you <laughs> song you're going to play for. I was going to get up and find the broom, but then I got high. Da, 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 my room da, da, da. is still messed up, and, and I know why. Why, man? Yeah, because hey, I got high. Because I got high. Because I got high. I have never been so embarrassed of my state in my life. <laughs> now, I'm serious. Are you really embarrassed, yeah. dude? Yep. Yeah. Why? A bunch of hippies. It's gonna be nationwide. Uh whatever. It's going. It is. It's going nationwide. I'm yep. in Montana. 
<laughs> I'm pretty sure everything's legal in Montana. It'll it'll be yeah. <laughs> it'll exactly. be there soon. Yeah, and Idaho. So our main topic, obviously, is uh, we had a. It's actually us. And remind me if I'm wrong. I did some research today. I know it's us, obviously, because uh, of what we do for a living. But it's also Colorado. Yes, Colorado passed it in the last uh, November, right? Yeah. Yeah, last yep. November. So weed is legal in Washington now. Um, recreational weed before with some restrictions. With some restrictions, medicinal marijuana. That's and, a whole uh, separate topic. I believe. All right, everybody. It's 4:20. You know what that means. It's National, National high, high, time. high Time. Time to get your smoking utensils out and spark up. Everybody ready? Here we go. Here we go. And I believe up to two pounds you can possess. Oh, well, you see. Well, <laughs> Good God. <laughs> you're blurring a couple things together. Medical marijuana, yeah, you can have a, a lot. Um, if you're talking about just the, what the recent laws were, it's a, you can have up to an ounce. So you got to be careful there. You can't blur the medical marijuana and just the legal marijuana. Together. Very, very true. Um so, here's your question. It's never been more confusing. No, it hasn't. Actually, it's it's clearer now to me. Oh, no, it's not. To me. Clearly. The law was written by potheads, dude. Well, it's never been more unclear. <laughs> it's clear to me. because Hey, it's legal in the state, but the feds say don't do it. So, I, I mean, know. there's a whole bunch of things that are still going to need to be worked out. But yeah, there there is. We can answer some specific questions. You know what it's going to do? Evening. But it makes it easy for me because I don't have to write tickets for it anymore. They're going to start. Yes and no. They're going well, to start taxing it. And they're going to start selling it in pot stores. And I tell you what, it's going to cure the Washington State deficit. Oh my God! <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. yeah! Oh yeah! 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 I love it. If cause... not, if, if not, I got rainbows not, shooting out yeah. me arse. If if not the national <laughs> deficit. Oh, well, that was inappropriate. <laughs> completely. completely. <laughs> well, things are going bad here. Things are going real bad. You also believe in pigs, smoking cigars, blowing Cuban smoke rings, flying out your ass, flying out my butt. Uh, Ed statement there. <laughs> Sorry, bro. Man, I didn't. No, I, I, I did not know my brother was liberal. He's not. I'm not. I'm just Ed. He's just Ed. Yep. Anyways, all right. Sometimes, so, sometimes people have to speak for the other people. Oh, here we go, boys, because we're going to talk about um, weed now. Hang on, stand by, stand by, um, because we said, and it's true. Okay, recreational weed is legal now in Washington State. So. I just want to say that if you're a law-abiding biker, and you truly are, um, if you smoke weed, you're still a law-abiding biker if in Washington, over, Colorado. And we're going to talk about that. Okay, we're going to get specific. We're going to get to the specifics. Just stay at okay. home if you're going to do it. But I just want to be clear that uh, a law- Not necessarily, but we'll get to Yeah, that not now. necessarily. Um, yeah, it just depends on- We're going to talk about the amounts. We're going to talk about um, impaired driving mm-hmm. on, on weed and mm-hmm. just where we stand. And I think we're fairly- uh, can be considered subject expert matters. Close enough. Or subject matter experts. Yeah. I said that backwards. Um, yeah. I mean, pretty much we know as much as we know right, right now, and it's still right. confusing for us a little oh, bit. Yeah. You're right. I'm just making light of it. But um, so we're going to get to the specifics. But just because you possess weed with the restrictions that we're going to talk about in a moment, you are a law abiding biker. You can be. Yeah. It, for sure. You can be a law abiding biker in Colorado. In Colorado. And you can smoke weed recreationally as long as you're within the limits of the law and you're not driving impaired. So right. um, I just want people to know that, that, uh, you know, it is legal. We don't make the laws. That's what people decided. That's what people voted on. And it is legal. I with voted. I lost. Restrictions. Um, my personal opinion, I, didn't I really don't care that it's legal, but that's we're, we weren't, we're not even going to get into the, yeah, we, no. we could, we'll we could actually alone. do a whole nother podcast if we wanted. Just on our opinions. <laughs> on our opinions. I'm not even going to go yeah, there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. We know where Matt's I really, yeah. yeah. Well, I'm not, a, I'm not necessarily for or against. There's, the problem is you got potheads coming up with the initiatives and they're, they're, they're hey, right. I think they were high when they wrote them. So was your brother high when he wrote? No, I'm just teasing. Hey, right. <laughs> the funny thing is, hey, Ryan, Matt gets up in the morning. He pisses excellence. Okay. <laughs> it's, let it's, me, oh, let me tell you about this guy. <laughs> it is not easy. That's messed up. dude. But, I mean, here's the thing. Okay. You're going to write an initiative to say that you can legally, let's go to the mer- the medical. Those the seeds that you don't need. Acapulco gold is. Badass, <laughs> badass weed. 
Mm-hmm. Sorry, I didn't mean to throw your thoughts. But you go to the You've medical. You've heard that before. Yeah, oh, yeah, we apparently, yes. Yeah. I mean, we did. Some, yeah. You and I did a lot of I knew you were some of together, this stuff. So, yeah, I'm, you're bringing back some of the old hits here. But, <laughs> I mean, the funny thing is, like, our medical marijuana, you can possess it, but you can't legally sell it or buy it. Well, how did you get it? You know what I mean? That's what I'm talking about with some of the problems with these laws. And they're going to work themselves out. But let's let's stay on topic and talk about legal marijuana. And he was walking down the road, and it just fell in his pocket. That's apparently, how I got it. Okay, boys, here we go. A little bit of Jeopardy session. Oh, geez. Because we said, how many can you have? Five pounds? Two. two no. t- I know, dude. Seriously. I'm just messing. You're putting the two together. <laughs> I'm just messing with you, dude. I know. No, you can legally possess an ounce. Yeah. Okay. 20, the, well. Hang, 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 oh. Uh-oh. You cannot answer, okay, until I ask the question. How many grams are in an ounce. Twenty. No, dude, you can't answer. You can, that's not. That's not actually the correct answer. Twenty-eight point four. Dude, you're ruining it. Wait, wait. You told me that. You're no, you, at I, me? I, I, you, you. You told him to answer. You did. You looked right at him. Okay. All right. Never mind that question. Um, next time, I got to do the whole. Give you guys time. Okay. And give you. How do we se- buzz in? Tell us how do we buzz in. When, <laughs> when you raise your hand. Oh well, come on, dude. Viewers Nobody can can't see, see that. that. Yeah. So do you yell Ed, and I'll yell Matt. No, That'll no, be no. How we buzz in. No, Matt. No. You. No, you just raise your hand, and I do that. And then that's how we did it last time. It's kind of boring. It is kind of boring. Or I can do... I don't know what tone you put my... <laughs> Holy you okay? shnikes, dude. Sorry about that. Jeez Louise. Do not give him any more of that no. stuff for his nasal. That's what's making him sneeze. All right, anyways. No, no more of that marijuana, no Since spray. we didn't have a very good Jeopardy session there, and you did not answer it in the form of question, by the way. What is 28.4 oh, so, grams? No, no, no. Oh, yeah. Yay for Ed. Oh, yeah, yay for no. Ed. Yep, yay for Ed. So good go time, ahead, man. Ed, answer it in a question. Uh, what is 28.4 ounces? Very oh, <laughs> grams. Oh, man. Oh, geez, never mind, dude. You're so retarded. <laughs> okay, you're, yep. 28.4 ounces. <laughs> grams. <laughs> you lose, too, dude. You lose, too. His name's Ed, but we call him Special Ed. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's like that. Seven foot man loses. But all right. Um, so yeah, next, Ryan, dude, we're Ryan, gonna, we're going to try Jeopardy Ryan, again in a second. Right. What is twenty eight point four grams? Thank you very much. High five. Yep. All right. Um, all right. So that is in, in grams. So that's what you can legally possess right now. And Matt, Matt, yes, is sir. Is there an age restriction? You got to be twenty one or over. Okay. So what you're saying is, if you're eighteen. And it's illegal. You possess an ounce or less, and you get caught. It's, it's a misdemeanor. A, I, same I, same crime. Yeah, the before. crime's the same as before. Anything? I know the answer. I'm just involving. Uh, you, yes, buddy. and I appreciate that. Yeah, uh, under uh, 40 grams is a misdemeanor. Over 40 grams is a felony in the state of Washington. If you're under 21. If you're under 21, well, it's still a felony. We can even get into that. I mean, if you're over 21, and you have under an ounce, that's cool. You got over an ounce and less than 40 grams is still a misdemeanor. Right. If you have over 40 grams, it's a felony. So nothing's changed as far as the misdemeanor. How do and, you measure an ounce? Well, with a scale? Well, yeah. With, okay, a measure, but... with a weighing device. Okay. I was, <laughs> Hold on. I That's a good question. Yes. It's a great question. It is a great question. I just we'll wanna, get to that. I want to thank Because you. some people could take, you know what, you got some buds right. in a sack. They could be, look like an ounce, but you crush it up. You get the good stuff. Not that I know this. Right. Oh, no. It, it that could look matter. like it, you know, exactly. So I was just asking It doesn't matter the if there's stems in it or yeah, not. Right. Okay. If you're I was just asking for yeah, the people. That's actually a good question. If you're buying stems, if there's, you're yeah. retarded. If there's no, there's, it, you know, exactly. But what I'm saying is, is the laws are still in effect. If you've got over an ounce, it's a misdemeanor. If you got over 40 grams in the state of Washington, it's a felony. Yep. Jail time. Yep. Well, Boom. possibly. Uh, they're pretty... Boom. Liberal on that. But now okay, um, the other question I know people are asking and I'm throwing it out there um, is obviously can people carry that anywhere on their in their vehicle or on their person? Uh, I think it has to be on the person. What From what I've read. Really? Yeah. I think it can be anywhere. Mm, but you got the law on there? I have no well, idea. I could look it up, but I'm. The way I what I read is it can I would take we could pause but we'd have to do a bunch of Here, here's what I was so saying. people don't if have you to got, carry it in their rectum anymore is that what you're saying right you do okay, you yeah. do not have to uh, carry it rectally anymore <laughs> um, <laughs> let me say this though okay let's say you got you got a 22 year old and an 18 year old in the car where do you think that oh, thing ought to be it ought to be on the person the the older person yeah. I mean use your brain I mean it depends who uh, we could get into constructive possession and all kinds That's of what weird I'm saying. stuff just, but yeah. Just, yeah, I if think you're going to possess it. I think it needs to be in your possession. I think it would be better. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. 
So, yeah. with that, let's talk about. Did we cover? I'm just trying to think. We think, covered did, amounts, right? We covered amounts. You're law abiding. Right. Um, you still can't sell it, nope. which is the weird part. No, that, that, see, that's you the you can gr- that's, involved and, that, in and that's some of the right. weird stuff. Um, so, so, there's gonna so be, it's legal, but how do you get it if you can't the, sell this it? This is some of the stuff we're talking yeah, about, so the weird issues. So it's still illegal. No, it's not. It's illegal well, to sell. The the law also says that the state of Washington needs to come up with a way of, of dispensing it and regulating yes, it. The problem with that is it's in, it's in violation of federal law. So there's a lot going on right now. But basically, let's not get into buying and selling. You should not be able to buy and sell it. You can possess it. I don't know how you got it. I'm just saying, you know, not you in particular. No, no I've, I've never even seen it. The, the law says that you can possess it. So um, I think there's going to be some clarifications as time goes on. Eventually, this thing's probably going to be per- legal all the way around. I mean, you no heard the, w- the Washington the Liquor US Board has till next year. Yeah, yeah, they have to come up with a comprehensive plan yeah. on dispensaries, right. how it's going to be sold, how it's going to yep. be taxed, yep. and they're yep. mandated yep. to do yep. that. So. I mean, it's who can sell, it, who can buy, it. and so yeah. and outside of time, it'll get, yeah, it'll it will get figured out. But right now, the way it is written, you can possess it, you can't buy it, you can't sell it, but you can grow it to a certain extent. With medical. Right. If you're medicinal. Hey, Again, hey, you're kind of blurring I, I, Well, I'm not trying to blur it. It is blurry. Hey, Ryan, yeah, it, it Ryan, is, I, you're right. It, yeah. You're not trying to blur it. It right. is blurry. That's I was blurry. wondering what those plants were out in your wife's garden. Those are tomato plants. Yeah. Thank oh, you. Oh, my bad. Yeah. <laughs> those are cilantro. They're large yeah. tomato plants. Yeah. Um, anyways, the other question that people have, and I've been asked because obviously I'm a law enforcement mm-hmm. officer, full time with an unspecified agency, um, but people ask, can cops smoke weed now? No. No. And why is that, Matt? It's a violation of federal law. That's right. And Not to mention that any, an employer can put whatever moral. restrictions they want on you. I mean, real, really, especially at law enforcement. True. Yeah. Yep. So it... Uh, the Owens Harley-Davidson dealership could say, if you want to work for us, you can't smoke right. weed. And they can test, and they can fire you. Right, right, yep. You know? Unless, mm-hmm. again, it gets blurry if it's prescribed by a doctor. Well, then it gets prescribed, and it's HEPA. And that's where it gets really... This is a mess. Yeah. Oh, this I is know. a mess. And then you get into law enforcement that says we, it doesn't really it's matter. It's going to happen. <laughs> yeah. It's going to happen. Somebody you know will push it. it. Yeah, sure, some, but... somebody's going to push it and uh, get it prescribed by a doctor. And, it, you know, it. but, yeah, so it, it's it's messy right now. Um, yeah. Yeah. But we're, we're trying to clean it up a little bit on this podcast for people. And really, you know, people ask me, can cops smoke it? No, absolutely no, not. Um, no. It's federal law. We don't violate federal law. Right. Um, we'd get fired from our jobs for doing that. So you're not going to see cops smoking it. Now, if it ever gets non-federally, I'm certain you will see, uh, you know, I would assume you would see some cops smoking it, but it'd be like alcohol then. Um, but a can't, lot of things have to take place before. Can't, can't be affected on duty. Right. Before law enforcement officers will ever, you know, people always ask that first thing. It's funny, but that's fine. It's a good question. Um, but really this podcast you know, more what we're focused on is, is okay, now people can possess, you know, an ounce, 28.4 grams legally. And so, you know, tech, you know, probably speaking, there's going to be more people, uh, law abiding bikers that were just not smoking it, even though they wanted to, because they were law abiding. Hypothetically. Hypothetically. And they're still law abiding now that they can smoke it. So right. hypothetically, there may be more people prone to smoking it um and not, what hasn't changed is impaired driving yeah driving because under. we've always treated this the same yeah and driving under the influence so let's get in to that do you want to get into that we need Go a for it. we need a mary jano hawk well yeah here's the problem yeah um, that's blood test brother yeah. I mean, it's yep. not going to be like a blown into pbt it's going to have to be like result. yeah it's going to have to be like a uh um the blood what's that disease Dude, I don't know. The HIV? No. Oh. You have that? No. No, uh, diabetes. Gon- it's going to have to be like... Gonocephalades? <laughs> Gonocephalades? No. It's a... Uh, no, like diabetes. Diabetes, where you poke yourself, it gives you a... Maybe, reading. maybe. Yeah. No, I see, now I see where Oh, yeah. I, okay, see I thought you were out there in outer space. I yeah, see I'm going. not sure where you guys were going. No, I, you're saying like Actually, yeah, because you guys are messed up. Like a but. portable... Like a uh, uh, PMT, a portable marijuana test where you get there a you poke go. finger. Dude. A little more, little more uh, intrusive, but... Dude, we're... Pe- we should patent that crap for you. Say it on a podcast. Uh-oh. Uh, tube, uh, hey, tube this thing. Tube this, tube tube this whole podcast. No, We're going to make some let's money. Let's do it like court to the jury. Um, the last statement was made. Pretend you didn't hear that. <laughs> Just completely get it out of your mind. You never heard that. Uh, Matt did not say that. And uh, yeah, just forget it. Well, Matt, she loves that, it. dude. Uh, disregard the last statement you heard. Okay, I'll just forget I ever heard it. 
And the the crazy thing with the uh, presumptive level, which is what five is it five nanograms? What testing was done on that? I haven't seen the testing. I don't know who did it. Yeah, who picked that up? But it's butt? state law now. Huh? And five nanograms are talking is the, I don't know what is that it's a lot? The level a little? In, I don't know. I mean, is that like a, you, you walk through a Van Halen concert and you're screwed? Or no, I think they did some testing. The way I understand it, did okay. with NHTSA. I, yeah, NHTSA did. Yeah, okay. the way I understand it, NHTSA did some testing and laboratory testing. I think they've done it over time. Uh, they, remember, medicinal marijuana isn't new. So but keep in mind that these are the uh, uh, constituents of Washington that pass this right. law. So I'm curious. I. I I, I'd like to know. I don't, I don't know if that's. A, I will America. go on record saying I don't know if that's a lot or a little. <laughs> five nanograms. I'm not 100 percent sure if that's Land. the right thing or not. But oh, jeez, dude. Um, but yeah, so there is a presumptive level, just like uh, the alcohol 0. 0.08 in the state of Washington. If you're, you know, over 0. 0.08, it's considered driving under the influence of alcohol. It's per the, se, per se, the license uh, licensing suspensions and and things kick in. Um, Here's my deal is, you know, one of the things I'm thinking about is uh, a uh, ignition interlock. Okay. <laughs> you know, because people have, you get, right. the, you get the DUI for alcohol. I'm just throwing some Strike stuff out Strike that from the record, oh, yeah. sir. We got to patent that too. No, that's already patent. Well, we oh. Could, oh, yeah, you're no, right. No, but for the, the Mary, yeah. Right. For, yeah. Forget it again. again forget, forget you it. heard that. You ever heard that. Strike that from the record. Um, but yeah, seriously. So guys get arrested or, or gals get arrested for driving under the influence, legally possessing it, but but having too much and then and riding a motorcycle. Okay, yeah, I don't think they've invented a uh, uh, ignition interlock to blow. If you guys don't out there don't know what an ignition interlock is, that's what you blow in. The court orders you put it on your car. You have to blow in it before it starts. They don't have that for marijuana. Yeah, let's put it. And you know all about blowing into something, don't you, Ryan? But a pump. It's like let's put it in. <laughs> Complete that. Uncalled for. A simple term is it's a PBT hooked up to your motor vehicle that yep. you have to blow zeros for it to start. Right. right. Which, which I mean that yeah, those are those are awesome. Yep. And uh, Ed, you could. Uh, well, let's not even go there. Go um, <laughs> never mind. Yeah, dude. I, how would they come up with the marijuana? I, one? I don't know. Hmm. I don't know. It's going to have to be blood. Another question. Blood. So pokey, pokey, pokey. The same thing applies. Uh, let's get back you know to okay so you smoke some weed yep. not a cop but yep. a law abiding biker citizen mm-hmm. legally possesses it smokes yep. it yep. hops on and we're gonna obviously it's a motorcycle show so we're you hop on your motorcycle yep just like alcohol you get stopped yep it's gonna be the same exact procedures <laughs> as it is and i apologize um for cuz sneezing a lot but that was that it's Matt's fault. That was that nasal crap you gave me. No, dude. no. It's, we had a little breeze today and the dust Matt, and dry grass was blown okay. I was just fine until you gave me your, your freaking marijuana you were, nose spray. You were sneezing. <laughs> <laughs> you were, look at that beak, man. Yeah. Toucan Sam would be yeah. proud. <laughs> Tick, tickles her ear. <laughs> yeah, humpy, and a hump nose. <laughs> <laughs> I lost it. Hump, it? <laughs> I almost had the rap going. I lost it. Oh, dude. Do you have a rap going? You want to no. You want to do a beat? No. You lost it. No, I, the moment's over. Run a beat. Run a beat. Spit. spit no, I, this right, is a, right. it's too late. Before this too started, late. you reminded me that this was a clean podcast, clean. and what I was about to say was yeah, not, not clean. Well, it was not kind of borderline. So and I have, and so far it's good. I'm not going to have to post edit this. Yeah, we've I'm been trying. good. We've only had to like post edit one. So. Well, that was my first time, and I was in the bag. So you're right. And I, I'm trying to water. That's how you were the first podcast. Yeah, I'm trying to. I'm, I'm trying. Are you calling to, him a jackass? No. No. Not at all. May I speak? Yes, please. Go ahead. <laughs> I'm trying to be a little more uh, with it on the, this podcast than the last two. So. I know you're a little boring. <laughs> Sorry. No, he's not. <laughs> Lurch is never boring. You know what I hate? Downy lions. Oh, by the don't, way. No, don't. Give you, oh, here we go. That's at the end if we have time because I'm Oh, pissed. I'll give you a Danny line no, update. I'm Uh-oh. I'll give you a no, You brought wait. your Danny lines. We're not man. doing it yet because we're going to get through our he, You know what he did? First. He brought them in okay. his pocket and spread them around <laughs> your yard. Who we got Danny lines <laughs> in your yeah. pocket. Yeah. Everybody time out. And go. Time out. Do you hear the Danny lions, Clarice? Right. Relax. Everybody relax. Take a break. That's it. Just relax. We're relaxing now. <laughs> you relax. <laughs> you okay over there, Matt? <laughs> I'm good, dude. Anyways, let's He's get good, back bro. He's on good, topic. Bro. Okay, let's get bro. back on topic. We we do have a habit of getting off topic, but yeah. it's okay. So here here here's the deal. Where the point we're at, you have some your law okay. biker. Yep, yep, you, you get yep. stopped. You've you had burned some, a wheel. You've burned a wheel. You have some weed. Mm-hmm. Um, What's burned a wheel? Whatever. 
It's, it's ingesting a marrow, green leafy material through a smoking device. Never right. heard of such a thing. Burn the wheel. Oh. Yeah, it kind of sounds like this, bro. Check it out. Oh. Cool. <laughs> That's, you know what? Before we even do that, actually, so you, so you get stopped. Mm-hmm. You're going to go through the same exact... Um, if it's it's going to be no different than if you were drinking. You can expect the same things. If you're exhibiting signs of being under the influence of alcohol and or drugs... And, and you're, you're affected by and it. And your writing shows that and your, your personal what if um, just demeanor... Tired? Well, that would show if you're just tired. Uh, <laughs> well, yeah. But you have no way to test for the marijuana unless you take him in. You, you will get taken in if you get arrested, uh, if you're affected. At, what at, if he's just tired? Dude, this is getting you can tell the difference. This is getting hairy. <laughs> Man, uh, hey... There's a big difference. Okay. All right. Big difference. Big difference. Your body reacts differently when you're tired than when you're under the influence of uh, depressants. Yes. And your eyes will act a certain way. Your muscles act. Your a muscles way. will act a certain way. And, and you're chewing on a big bag of Doritos. You're divided. <laughs> yeah. You're divided. <laughs> hey, sir, sir, why do you have 15 tacos in your lap? You're that divided. deserves not one. There's two. Finally, <laughs> he comes up with something good. Yeah. yeah you know. That was good. But you're going to go through the same battery of tests, which is the field sobriety yes. test. Um, standard. Field standard. SF, ST standard yes. field sobriety test. Thank you. Um, but yeah, don't don't expect it to be any different. And if you uh, are displaying the effects and or based on your driving, your motorcycle and or the roadside SFSTs, which is standard field sobriety test, and you are affected, you're going to get arrested and you're going to get ready rights. You're going to get hauled in. And there is not a instrument like the breathalyzer for testing marijuana. And so the, the state has deemed it appropriate to take you. your blood. blood. But you, you do still, have the right to refuse. You still have the right to refuse. That's up to you. But We're not going to. We're not even going to get into that because as law enforcement yeah. professionals, we cannot give you advice what to do or what no, not to do. No, we are not going to give you any advice. You will be read. Yeah, but if you refuse, you automatically lose certain rights don't you well that's you have to there's you have to hey, listen, listen yeah. there, there's negatives and positives to each of it yeah. as we're not attorneys we're law enforcement officers we cannot give you law enforcement or we cannot give you legal advice and you as the quarterback over there cannot or armchair quarterback <laughs> cannot give any advice to so shut your pie hole I wasn't giving advice. No, I was you're asking, just questioning. I was simply asking a question Dude, because okay, I, I am not a law enforcement official. I apologize. It is a good question. I have worked, I have worked in a prison, and you don't you, want to go you there. You're actually going to bring up some uh, legitimate questions, and I apologize for jumping on yeah. you so quickly. And the hey, way we Hey, can, Ryan, play that jackass thing again. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. There's a jackass. Yeah. <laughs> All right, good. Here we go. Um, here's how we'll explain it, because uh, Cuz does have good questions that a lot of people that are listening out there are probably going to want to know. But- yeah, I've lived, we're not going to give I've, you. It, I've lived a little bit harder and faster than you boys. Yeah, it's complicated, and what they're called is your two forty two or your implied consent warnings for breath and or blood. We're not going to tell you what those are. You will get if you, if you're unfortunate enough to get arrested. I my our advice on this show, the whole reason for doing this, say is to say don't smoke. If you're going to smoke, don't ride. Period, um, because uh, the levels are still in limbo a little bit. And if you're affected at it by all, you're going to get cuffed up and you're going to get a DUI and you're going to have to do all the repercussions and expenses and licensing problems and whatever. But you'll get read a whole bunch of legal stuff just like a DUI and uh, you do have certain rights, And but we're not going to get into any of that. Just bottom line is what we're telling you and we're trying to warn you is don't, if you're smoking, don't go ride. Do not ride. Smoke period, and, period. and chill out at home and toke, toke it up. If, if that's what you want to do, toke, toke, toke it up. A lot of uh, a lot of what we're talking about is the uh, state of Washington, by the way, and I yep. I can't speak about Colorado. Well, and even California's medicinal. There's a lot right, of states that are right. medicinal. I'm, ta- I'm talking about legal possession. Washington's going to be a little different. But right. I think uh, with pretty good certainty that uh, driving under the influence of marijuana is pretty similar in any yeah. state. So then again, then again, you can live in Portland and grow a tree. So, I mean, you know, they're a little uh, liberal down there. Still legal down there. Yeah, it is. I would uh, just defer to, uh, here's what I would defer to. Um, if you ever run into a problem and you're smoking uh, marijuana, th- this advice right here. I experimented with marijuana a time or two, and I didn't like it. And <laughs> didn't Clinton. inhale. Yeah, it's Clinton. Dude. I experimented with basket. marijuana a time or two, and I didn't like it. A- and and a- didn't inhale. Hey, listen to this. Animal, now, animal, hang on. Animal, animal cigar. cigar. Yeah, go ahead. When a guy says, it all depends on what the meaning of the word is, is, <laughs> he's full of <laughs>
All right, now let's listen, dude. Uh, we got to listen to what Obama has to say. Look, I, you know, I uh, when I was a kid, I I, uh, uh, I inhaled uh, frequently. <laughs> that was uh, that was that was the point. Um, <laughs> Yeah, two different versions, bro. But you guys, um, an idiot. <laughs> well, I, hey, you hey, know what? They're both Democrats. Awesome. <laughs> the guy's an idiot. Oh, uh, dude, we have Democratic listeners, and uh, sorry for you. No, I didn't say Democratic <laughs> listeners were idiots. I said Obama's an idiot. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Yeah. You're right. Um, Teach their own. So what else, dude? About that? There's. I guess it's just like what, any advice we give you for drinking and driving. Don't yeah. do it. If you're going to drink, don't drive. Do the watermelon crawl. <laughs> what is the watermelon crawl, dude? <laughs> oh, so you're not just country. ask Willie Nelson. You're playing country, so. Don't bogart that joke. I have my friend. Uh, you're playing a little country music there, so that's where, that was a country song. Don't drink, don't drive, do well, the watermelon, do the watermelon crawl. So what crawl. I would say is don't, if you're going to smoke, don't drive. I mean, just don't drive on the influence period because you're a danger to yourself. Sit on your couch. If you're burritos. riding in a group like we ride, you're a danger to your brothers. Mm-hmm. And you're a danger, to, yeah. Oh, yeah. You're a danger to the rest you of the You just brought it home, brother. Hell yeah. That, that I would never, true. I would never put my brothers in that position. Yep. It's got a, it's going to need to go a while, um, and and things are just going to have to get sorted out, especially here in Washington, I know Colorado, but even medicinally, same thing, you know, and, and let's touch on that a little bit. Medicinally, um, a lot of people even think that even to this day, um, we, you know, stop people and they're under the influence of something they've been prescribed by their doctor, but they get arrested for driving under the influence of prescription drugs. Oh, yeah. Same thing. Yeah. It says right on the bottle. Don't, Boobies. D- yet you can't take, um, you know oxycotton yeah because your back hurts and right. then drive a car stone out of, st- yeah, stone out of your gourd it's stone to the bejesus yeah. belt yeah and they're and like de- but, but it's prescribed well but did you read the bottle yeah. like no hey, heavy machinery hey, and no driving yeah. and- ryan definitely yeah. don't mix it with a half bottle of jack no that's bad news and i uh i had a guy that, that ed brings up that story um because there was a i can't obviously it was a case but yeah dude guy was out of his gourd um, because he was, uh, he makes some whiskey and some, no, he was running bikes. around, he was running around naked, this guy. No, he wasn't. Yeah. No, he was. was, he was he running really? around naked, dude. Oh, and that was his, was it me? No, oh. No. Oh. no, it was his, not that time. It was his concoction. This particular, uh, guy no, that I had that's to deal what with. He liked to do. It was a little Viked in little, apparently little Jack that's what he crazy. said. And he got straight oh. buck naked. So yeah. Man. Um, yeah. You know, you guys bring up Willie Nelson. Willie Nelson. That, uh, that I don't act. think he smokes weed. Oh. <laughs> um, just, I don't. I don't. I'm just straight just, up, dude. He just turned 80. No, he doesn't smoke weed. Yeah. He's never smoked a joint in his life. Um, let's see what Willie has You're to right, say. He doesn't smoke joints. On the road again. Nearly 700,000 Americans were arrested on marijuana charges last year. That's an enormous waste of law enforcement resources <laughs> and terribly Sounds unfair like to those arrested and their families. It's time we stopped arresting adults who smoke marijuana responsibly. For more information, visit Normal's website at www.normal.org or call toll-free 888-67-NORMAL and tell them Willie sent you. It's oh, funny that on, you put Hang on, that. Matt's going off here. Matt is in the corner just <laughs> no, 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 I'm shaking gonna surprise his fist. You. He, no, had I'm a, he had both I'm hands actually, raised. I'm actually going to surprise you because a lot of people think police officers just want to bust people. I don't. I, don't I really don't care. I don't care if that it's legal. Yeah, I don't, if it's legal, it's legal. If it's illegal, it's illegal. I Just took don't an oath. Do it legally. I took an oath to uphold the laws of the state of Washington. If it's illegal, it's illegal. It's not up to my personal opinion. It's up to the the constituents of the state of Washington made a law to make it illegal, so I'm gonna enforce it. If it's legal, which it is now, man, I don't care. Go for it. It's it's it is what it is. Responsibly. I well, want to wrestle that's all you, you do. so freaking bad. Yeah. Yep. Exactly. So did you yeah. just say you want to wrestle me? I'm just, no, I don't. Um I just saying Willie Nelson there. That's why I'm saying that clip right there. I don't think he smokes weed. Yeah. I don't. Definitely not. I don't think he smokes weed. No. <laughs> Matt's he, he's just, just shaking his he, head at me like, are you serious? He's, he's just the big, the single, single biggest I know advocate you're, for it in I, the United yeah, States yeah. of America. Yeah. I know you're not a And a Woody, Woody Harrelson, right? Oh, Woody's Isn't he a big, big weeder? Oh, yeah. Big, big. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Smoking the ganja. Yeah. Hey, whatever, you know. What's that? What? Ganja. I'm just kidding. <laughs> one joint, one joint's like twenty packs of cigarettes as far as the uh, carcinogens, but hey, have a lovely man. Kid. Yeah, but it also has very good uh, medical. You know, purposes. Roll, That's what people that like weed say. Oh. <laughs> Everybody must get stoned. Everything in moderation's fine. I don't really necessarily have a problem with it. Oh, I agree. Speaking of moderation, my fire water's empty. 
Marijuana is the bomb. Must be about an hour. Marijuana is the bomb. Bomb. <laughs> bomb. Oh, what's this one doing? <laughs> You've been wanting to do this. I smoke weed every second of every day. Hey, I am your stoner. <laughs> 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 That's Seth Rogen. Dude, I, love, I love that guy's laugh. I love that. Uh, <laughs> is that the one with Shit. the... What break? is the name of that movie where they got the pink eye? Dude, we gotta listen to that one again. Hang it's on. like, you got pink I eye? I love weed. Nah, he farted on my pillow. I smoke weed every second of every day. Hey, I am your stoner. I know that movie. Uh, uh, should, should we get this back on track, gentlemen? No. Good grief. And I want to know what... We are on track. That's We're having fun. fun. That's but, a funny movie, though. Yeah, I can't. I couldn't remember the movie either, but I found the Seth the, uh, Rogen's the one going. Uh, yeah, yeah, he is. He is. All right. So, anyways, um, yeah. Any other last? Because we're at an hour, guys, and I don't like him to go over an hour. But um, on a serious note, I know we had a lot of fun, and uh, you know, marijuana is funny. If you're going to smoke if, a J, if you're going to burn a burn a wheel, if you got it. Burn it. Do it responsibly. What else? If you're hang on, dude, we got to do that. How many? Yeah. All if right. you're going to roll a doobie, smoke a J. If you're gonna, I don't know, is that that doesn't it doesn't feel right? If you're gonna, if you're gonna do some of the chronic. Oh yeah. If you're gonna, what'd you say, burn a J? If you're gonna smoke a J, <laughs> smoke a J, burn a burn a wheel, smoke the chronic. I can't believe you didn't have any Snoop Dogg up Smokes, on here. Oh, I should have, yeah. dude. That's yeah. ridiculous. Hello. Although, I will. If you're gonna smoke with with it, with Willie. Yep. Um, How's that go? That's a good one. If you're gonna puff the magic dragon. I was gonna clean my room yep. until I got high. Very, very Just responsible. responsible. Yep. And uh, stay tuned as the uh, laws change. And we and, get a little more info. And we get more info. And once Washington State and Colorado, I'll try to stay up on Colorado. I read a little bit today. Um, I'm more speaking towards Washington. But like we say, even there's a lot of states that are medicinal still can't drive under the influence of it, I guarantee. Yep, yep. So that's a good yeah, point. Just, just be if you're smoking it, whether it's medicinally or whether it's legally or recreationally legal, uh yeah, don't ride. Um especially till some stuff gets sorted out because you're just hanging yourself out there. Just call a taxi, call a friend, stay where you're at. Just be smart because I tell you what I see about I don't know, probably sixty bikes a year that have been uh oh yeah been put down. And uh I don't want to see any more. So be responsible, be good. I don't want you to see in there getting fixed. And you probably hear some of the inside stories. Ooh. Yeah. 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 I'm sure. All right, guys. Uh, well, let's take it out with that. Um, yeah. Let's get out of here. Burn them if you got them. That's right. I uh, appreciate you guys listening as usual. Um, uh, get the Lab Podcast on all fl- platforms. Excuse me. iTunes, Zune, Android, Stitcher Radio, and even listen right on lawbitingbiker.com. That's where I get it. Do you? Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. Dude, subscribe, please. Well, it depends. On my mobile device, I okay. got I got I get it from the Apple Store. Okay, so do I. But occasionally I have my laptop uh, fired up. I go old school Windows. Man. I go I go to I a lot of right. biting, I go to Law Abiding Biker, period. Yeah, well you have an Android, so did you know you can get it on Stitcher Radio? Seriously, I'm, I'm not being joking. I don't even know Stitcher Radio. Well, it, you can get it in a way better uh, platform. It's, no. a, it's a free app. No. And you can get Stitcher Radio and you can get a ton of... But anyways... Right to your phone. Yeah. You, right Where else your, can you get it? Um, I, I prefer well, to lay in my bed and play it on my big screen. Matt, I'm glad computer. you asked that question. Where else? Um, you can get it on uh, uh, yeah, Stitcher Radio and even listen right on lawabidingbiker.com. That's why I have it on there because a lot of people, some people don't have that stuff. I am going to do... I'm going to do a tutorial on actually how to subscribe to it i was asked by iPod. somebody ipod yeah how to subscribe to it on itunes and i'll show you i'm gonna oh. do a little tutorial video because some people aren't familiar yeah listen on your desktop computer laptop ipod or any smartphone we have made it easy for anyone to access this podcast um all right head to itunes and rate it please i need the ratings give me five stars if you like it even if you don't give me five stars anyways anyways we're out nah, just be honest man pass yeah. the joint no. ryan i'll give no, you give five me- stars all right yeah thanks <laughs> um anyways we are out ride safe all my bikeaholics keep the rubber side down shiny side up we're out like a trout <laughs> word word